All right. I just wanted to discuss a couple of things that I've realized when I was working on a game that was very body mechanics heavy that just clicked for me after getting the same notes over and over from my leads and some things that really made body mechanics much less daunting. Of course, there's the obvious use reference, practice, and countless other things which you will need to learn in order to have body mechanics animation. But these couple of things always go through my mind when I'm critiquing work and I feel something not working. And most of the time, these things help to unearth what the problem is. So these two things are coming right up after this sponsor. I'm joking. Um, the two things are C-shape in the spine and headspace. So always, always, always have a C or reverse C shape in the spine. Every pose, every breakdown, everything. I know we've always been told about S-curves as well, but in my opinion, this just makes things confusing. S-curves are found in the body, especially in body mechanics. They're found in most poses, passing through the spine and changing angle through the neck and legs to create those lovely S-curves. But not in the spine. The spine should always be a nice C-shape. But the spine is an S-shape. Yes, it is. But, and technically the neck is part of the spine, but we're solely talking here about the chest and the hips. And further, I want to caveat that there are no hard rules in animation and that everything that is ever said in animation has a caveat. But I'm talking about making things make sense for animation and having a easy cheat sheet to generally improve your work and removing the complexity of different curves and shapes and possibilities for body mechanics. So like I said, the C shape is a way of thinking about the connection between the hips and the chest, a way to help focus on countering the two and the relationship between them. There are drastic C's and subtle C's, but as long as it's a C, then it should be looking pretty good. When you're looking at your animation, trying to work out why the mechanics are off, take a look at the shape of the spine. Is it reversing between the two C's, creating contrast and shape chains between poses? Um, is it straight? And that might be fine, but it's also boring and undynamic. Again, the caveat, that might be what you're going for in that shot. Um, is it more of a V shape? This could be a bit broken. Is it an S? Well, there's probably something wrong. You might be mistaking the angle of the chest and the angle of the head, or the leg angle might be tricking you into thinking that the hips are doing something that they're not. So spine shape alone and how it flows through the pose help so, so much with clarity, mechanics, and appealing posing. Combine this with tip two and you're well on your way. That tip is headspace. So the head should always read clearly in your animation. It's what our eyes focus on and the rest of our body will move to counter it quite a lot. Focusing on the headspace and not having it move too much can tell you things about the rest of your animation, which will help with figuring out body mechanics. Is your head moving forward suddenly when the character is leaning forward? Counter the hip space backwards. This will solve the problem of the center of gravity being off, but also the headspace. Win-win. So if the headspace is going back and forth in a simple motion, this causes us to lose clarity. See if we can simplify the arc by adjusting the rest of the body. If the hips are moving as they should be, then maybe their chest needs to be doing something different in order to get that head moving as it should be. Don't focus too, too much on the neck other than for improving your posing. So if your head space is moving a little crazy, focus on the hips and the chest first. You really shouldn't be moving the neck a lot to counter that head space. So when do you move the head space around it? Well, you can move the head when the mass that supports it is balanced. Take a step screen left if you want to move the head screen left, or move the hips out screen right to balance the head over to the left. This tip is more about keeping the head simple and clear, rather than locking it down in place at all times. Focusing on the head space rather than the root will really help with figuring out the balance of the body to get your mechanics into a much better spot. Thinking about these two tips, 
always having a C or reverse C in the spine and paying attention to your character's headspace together when reviewing your work will hopefully give you a quick way to figure out where the issues are in your body mechanics. Some really kind people on Twitter sent me their work to review and to help illustrate this video. So thanks so much to them. The full reviews will be up on YouTube if you want to check those out. If you maybe want to look at how I apply these ideas, I guess, to giving feedback and how I think about my own work. I'd love to make a part two if you guys have any questions or we can open a bit of discussion on this and come up with some more ideas on this. I think that would be really cool. Um, I'd also love to make more videos on all things animation, really, about things I'm learning or things I've learned in the past in my career. But yeah, just let me know, really. I'd love to know what you guys think and know what you guys want to hear. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and see you next time, hopefully.